Welcome back to this video about do while loops. The do while loop is very similar to the while loop, but the biggest difference is that the while execution is checked at the end of the first iteration, which means that whatever you are doing inside the do will be executed once and the condition will be checked after. So let me add it as a comment after the do while loop. First do, then while. And I hope it makes sense because first the do will be printed out or executed, then the while condition will be checked. And the way you create a do while loop is by writing down do followed by a set of curly brackets. And after the closing curly bracket, we need to create a while statement by writing down while. We need to follow it with a set of parentheses in order to add our condition, and we need to end it with a semicolon. And you can see that the difference with the while loop is that we're not adding a set of curly brackets after the while statement, like we did like this before. Let me go back. We're not doing that because we need to put that inside the do loop. We need to end the while loop with a semicolon. So let's create a variable called cookie and set it equal to one. What we want to do, which makes sense as a name, is to echo out I love cookies. So right now we want to echo this out until we have 10 cookies. So let's say that the condition in the while is that cookies or cookie needs to be less than or equal to 10. And remember, just like the while loop, we need to specify the increment of the cookies. So let's go below our echo and say cookie plus plus. So it increments by one. So let's save it, refresh the browser, and let's add a break after I love cookies. And you can see that cookies, or I love cookies, is printed out 10 times. What basically just happened in the do while loop, the echo got printed out once, no matter what. Cookie got increased by one, and then the do while loop will see if cookie is less than or equal to 10. And in our case, this is true, so the do while loop will be executed again. Instead of incrementing it by one, we could also increment it with two or with three or with four. And that's with a plus equal sign, which we discussed in the assignment operator video, and we want to plus it by two or add two. Let's save it, refresh it, and you can see that it's got printed out five times. Let's change the variable value inside the condition to one. And let's remove the equal sign as well. That's incremented by one. Let's save it and refresh the browser. And you can see that the I love cookies got printed out once. In our case, the echo will always be executed. And then the condition is checked. And even if we set it less than zero, let's save it, refresh it. I love cookies is printed out once, even though the variable cookie is equal to one. So let's create a while loop so I can show you what the biggest difference is here. Let's say while cookie is less than one. And if that's true, we want to echo up. Let me just copy paste it. Let's add a break. And you can see that the while loop isn't executed because it will see if the condition is true first before echoing out I love cookies. This was it for this episode. If you do enjoy my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.